Hey guys, uh, today I'm going to show you how to make your own custom animated wallpaper. First of all, um, you're going to create it your own, you know, whatever you want. Um, it depends how artistic you are and how good you are in Photoshop. You can probably make something pretty amazing. I'm just going to show you something basic because I don't want to go too deep into, um, you know, designing stuff in Photoshop. So what I'm going to show you is just um, I want to make a wallpaper from my favorite scene in um, Sherlock. So what I did was just grab a bunch of screenshots of the scene. And so whatever you're making, um, just make all the layers and um, add them into the thing here. Um, you want to make your image size to be 320 by 480 and then um, once you've got all your stuff all your layers ready to go to make it into an animated file you come over here to window animation and then you come here and choose make frames from layers and then it just adds all those and then um, if you want it to you know it depends what exactly you're doing um, but you'll have to set the time delay so um, you can go in here just to do all of them if you want them all the same time length select all frames and then you can just do one and it'll do it for all of them and then um, you can play it here to see what it looks like if you want to speed it up or make it slower or whatever and then um, once you've got that done you just go here and put uh, save for web and devices just hit save name it I'll just put it on my desktop. And you have to make sure that you save it, you know, capital W and then the rest of the word. Um, if you do a lowercase w, it will not work. So make sure you, you make it case sensitive. So once you've got that done, um, you're going to I'll put this folder for you to download because some t last time we did an HTML thing some people had troubles with it so what I'll do is I'll put a download link to this actual file and all you'll have to do is create your image and put it in the folder um, replace this image and then um, you know name it whatever you want here um, whatever dot theme and then this file will already be made and everything and you don't have to do anything else other than just replace that file and then once you have that uh, you're going to SSH into your phone and go to your themes folder so it's var and then stash themes and then you're just gonna drag that in there and um, and uh, go into Winterboard and activate it. So that's a pretty cool customization for your phone. Um, if you want to create a cool little um, animation uh, for those of you who are good with Photoshop, or if you just you know like me, you just want to have like a, your favorite movie scene or something playing in the background of your phone. So it's really simple to do. So be creative, make something awesome. Um, if you do, uh, be sure and share it with us. You can you can post the link to it here in the comments, or um, you can go over to the Insanely Eye forum and um, post the link to it there and share it with us. All right, have fun, guys. Bye. If you don't stop prying, I'll burn you. I'll burn.
<laughs> out of you. I've been reliably informed that I don't have one. But we both know that's not quite true. Well, I'd better be off. Well, so nice to have had a proper chat. <laughs>